Hi everyone, how are you? I am going to do a tag video now. This is a handbag lover tag. This was us, Fit Jock One asked me to do it. So I'm doing it for her and also for others who are interested to know what I'm going to say. So the first question, uh, what is your favorite brand and why? There are Okay, before I start, there are totally 12 questions in here. Um, so I'm just going to go one by one, all right? So what is your favorite brand and why? Favorite brand is Louis Vuitton, all right? That's the, the favorite, favorite. Uh, the, <clears throat> and why, okay, why? I'm not sure why. Um, first, when I wanted to buy a, buy a luxury brand, uh, when I looked into v, uh, YouTube, not YouTube, just videos and everything, all the time that popped up was Louis Vuitton. I didn't know what and why, but that's how it came. And then slowly I read about, I read the history behind it. And I also bought the items and they were like iron. So I really, really loved it. That's how it started. Do you consider yourself a collector? Yes, I consider myself a collector. I did. Now I am not. I, um, I collected so many handbags at one point and then seeing them, I was overwhelmed, so overwhelmed one day that I was like about to like faint or something. My husband said, is this really necessary? What's wrong with you? So I don't like, I like handbags, but too many, excuse me, little, uh, I don't like that. So what I do now is I have a, a small closet. I don't, I didn't um, make my closet big or anything just for the reason because if it's big then I will put a lot of band bags to fill it up I have a small space so whichever fits in right there I keep it rest I don't buy or I, I, I buy something and I sell something and then I buy so I just I keep my small closet full if that makes sense so basically I would say now I'm not a collector uh, if you had to part with a bag what it what would it be like so what is that, um, if you had to part with a bag, what would it be like? I think the bag that, um, like two things I can think. One thing is like, how would I feel when I sell a bag? I wouldn't feel anything. I mean, I love it so much, but once I've decided it to go, it goes, right? I don't think about that. The second thing is, um, the main bags that I, I, there are bags, if I sell, the particular kind of bag that I would sell is, like the speedies I know people love it but for me the speedy didn't work at all like the Louis Vuitton speedy particularly because the zipper the, zip, the opening was so small the bag was so big it was not proportional the next thing is whenever I have to pick something you know I had to literally open it and search there are times when I said told my husband like search I'm like you know what I may not be able to find it. It's not worth it. He's like, why do you carry a bag if you don't even want to look into it? So if I if I sell, that's kind of bags I sell. I really like big openings where I can just open it up and pick things up. Um, when did you fall in love with the handbag? Since I was a child, I loved handbag. I used to have a big bag, a small bag, a small bag, bag like that. Keep on having like every single thing in one. So it looked like I have only one but I have so many inside. It was driving my mother crazy. But I was not venturing, like there was a time when I would not even spend $100 on a bag. I would not. And it's not, it was not far off. Like I, still, till 2010, I was like that. Only after that, everything went like uh, bizarre. Is that the right word? Because I started watching YouTube videos and went into this and all became like completely, I became crazy. But until then, I was at least not spending too much on a handbag. But fall in love, I always love handbags. What was your first designer handbag? My first designer handbag was my Prada a bag. Like I got a Louis Vuitton, then a Prada. Like I'm just thinking, I think it is the, I got both at the same time. Um, Prada East West Tote in 2010. That was my first designer handbag. Why do you think that you're obsessed with handbag? Now I can, um, I can think about it all the time. Like I can think about it, keep on. My husband always says, like makes fun that the amount of energy and time I am put in buying a handbag, if I put it in my job, he says that I would have become like a, a CEO or something. It just makes fun. But that's what he says. I'm, I'm so, I always think about that. 
that's how I, I breathe, I think, like what's the next bag? First I think like what I have to buy and keep on thinking about that. So that's the, that's why I think I'm so obsessed. Is there an emotional component? Um, it's not emotional. Like I love a handbag, but like I said, if I had to sell it, I sell it. Ah, there's no emo emotion involved. And also I don't, um, I don't have an emotional component on things. I have it on people like my son or my husband or my parents, but not emotional part of the things, you know, so no. It looks very heartless, is it? Okay. Do you plan or impulse buy? Uh, earlier I used to do impulse buy a lot, a lot. It was literally breaking my bank, like long, uh, not long time, a long time is not long time, two years ago or even a year ago. But then I felt like how many bags I do impulse buy and then I use them, I don't. So then I started to really plan to buy what I want. I think about it, is it really I want or is it just because I see it on others? You know what I mean? So I nowadays I kind of plan it. I don't do impulse buy. Do you have a dream bag? I don't have a dream bag. I hope and wish I don't have one because I think about something, I go buy it right away. I don't wait a lot of time. and but I don't, I don't have a dream bag. Why do you share on YouTube? I love handbags. I love them so much. It helped me when I purchased handbags on YouTube, uh, when I purchased handbags, YouTube videos really helped me. Particularly the videos which pointed out the negative ones like, hey, this doesn't work, doesn't work really helped me. So I know before I buy what I'm, what I'm looking at, what I'm buying and what can happen to it, all those things. So that is one of the reasons I share it on YouTube. Um, I really like it and I see fellow people like who are also interested in um, handbags. So that's, that's the main reason to share the love. What is your favorite handbag? Ah, I can't pick that. Really, I can't. I, I favorite handbag like every time my favorite changes. But the main thing that always reminds the same is I love Prada East West tote. I love the Louis Vuitton Luminous. Even though Luminous is a little heavy, but that's okay. I have all leather bags and I carry them. So it doesn't make any difference. So these are the two bags I would say, my favorite. Who do you tag to do this video? Um, I know that most of the people, most tough people I know have done this, but I want to tag each and everyone who's watching it to go do this video because I would love to see um, what you like and what you want to say, you know? I hope you had a nice time. Thank you, everyone. Bye.